Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here is Google Apps updates roundup number 52 and in this episode I'm going to talk about the new Google Wallet app in addition to some interesting changes in other apps but before starting let me remind you to subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon to get notified about my upcoming videos and now let's jump in. Let's start with the most exciting change in this episode which is the new Google Wallet app. As you see it's now called Wallet and it has a totally different icon and when you open the app for the first time you will get this new splash screen saying that Google Pay is now Google Wallet and you can do everything you used to just more easily. Now let's take a look at the app itself to see what's new. First you will see a much bigger NFC icon at the top and when you open the app it will give you this nice animation. You can switch between the cards using the left and right gesture and you will get a nice haptic feedback with each swipe. The app also supports material you and you can see that in the add wallet button it has the same rectangular design and its color matches your wallpaper colors. When you scroll down as you see the card will be minimized to the top right corner with a small arrow on the left to, to expand your card back again or you can simply scroll back up. The cards and passes are also using the same design and when you tap on any of them it will brighten up the display to make it easier for the scanner to read your code and that happens even if your auto brightness is turned off. And when you tap on details you will see some options like the nearby locations and this one will show you the nearby locations in Google Maps. The second thing is to visit the website and finally there is a toggle here says use loyalty card across Google and you can see your points balance and loyalty benefits in places like maps, shopping and more. But after activating this toggle I couldn't find my points balance anywhere so I tested this feature. Maybe it's not working here in the UAE and working in other countries I'm not sure so please let me know in the comments if you tried this out. Also in other cases you might see more options like calling the customer service and also visiting more than one website. So let's tap on the add button to see what else we have here. You can add your payment card, transit pass, loyalty card and gift card and when you tap on loyalty for example it will show you the options available in your country. When you tap on any of them it will start the barcode scanner or you can simply enter the details manually. On top of this you can add your boarding passes and event tickets so for example it says here want to add boarding passes event tickets and more look for the add to google wallet button online and in other apps and if you want to learn more about this feature tap on the card and it will show you the article and if you want to check your payments history you can simply tap on your debit or credit card like this it will show you the most recent transactions and here at the top right corner you have a button to show you the full history also you have a details button over here that will take you to the same activity page I showed you. It will show you that this is your default card for the contactless payment, your virtual account number and you can also give it a nickname from here. And by the way this is my transaction purchasing the Pixel 6a so stay tuned for my in-depth review and the camera comparisons with other phones. And lastly the quick settings style got updated to match the new Google Wallet app as you see it has a new icon and app name. Next Google Photos. And the first change is the new app shortcut to view your screenshots folder and that will save you a lot of steps. The second change is the ability to drag and drop images from Google Photos to other apps in a split screen view. So as an example I will make a split screen view with the messages app and I will multi-select some of the photos then I will tap and hold and drag them to the messages app and here you go you can share them right away. Change number three Google Photos brings photo and the canvas prints to Canada and Europe. When you scroll down in this article from 9 to 5 Google that I'm gonna leave its link in the description below you will see the list of countries in Europe that support the feature, the list of sizes and the price and the same applies to Canada. And lastly Google Photos on the web will now show you a suggestion at the top right corner called Fix Lighting. This suggestion will only appear for photos with lighting issues and when you click on it it will adjust the lighting and enhance the look of your photo. This is very similar to the enhance suggestion you get when you edit photos on your mobile phone and it's also using the same icon. Next YouTube Music. And the first change is the redesigned media controls of Android 13. As you see here it looks totally different and here's a side by side comparison with the old design. 
First, all the buttons used to be on the same line, but now the play button is totally separated and it has a circular design. When you tap on it, it will turn into a square. Also, the previous and next track buttons are now on the sides of the progress bar and the like button has been replaced with the shuffle and repeat buttons. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of the like button removal because I always rely on it to add new songs to the likes playlist and I used to do this right from the lock screen. But now to do the same thing, I have to unlock the device, go inside the app and then tap the button, which is a very long process. So I hope Google will return it back or give us the option to choose what shortcuts to show over here. And lastly, the music categories at the top now have a different order. On the left, I have the newer version and the old one is on the right. Other than this, they are exactly the same. Next, Google Play Store. And now when you go to the Play Points page and then tap on Use, you will see a new filter here called Google Products. And that means you can use your Play Points to purchase actual products from Google Online Store. And it says here you can use this credit to purchase Pixel phones, Nesta products, Chromecast, and more. For 500 points, you can get $10 off up to 200 if you have 10,000 points. This offer makes the play points even more valuable, but there are some terms you need to keep in mind before proceeding. First, this offer will end on the 30th of November 2022. It's only available for US residents. And once you redeem your discount, you should use the promo code within 30 days or it will expire and you don't have the option to cancel it or revert back to your play points. Change number two is the new Play Store icon and I got this screenshot from a friend and as you see, the icon looks different. And to give you a better idea, here is a side-by-side -side comparison. As you see on the left, this is the current icon we have and the new one is on the right. As you see, the colors are different and the design is also different. Now let me show you some random changes and the first one is in the weather app. You might notice that the weather frog is no longer wearing a face mask. The second change is the Pixel 6a wallpapers are now available for download in original quality and I will leave the download links in the description below. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes in Google Apps. Please let me know in the comments if you spotted any new change so I will include in my future episodes. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you the next video.